King Charles adds a very important step to his routine thanks to Queen Camilla. According to reports, Camilla has forced the king to give up a certain food habit in order to prioritize his health while he receives cancer treatment. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. In the past, King Charles has been observed to forego meals in order to avoid taking a break from his demanding official schedule. But those days are gone, as royal author Sally Bedell Smith reports that Queen Camilla is making decisions regarding his well-being while he receives cancer treatment. Turning to her Substack website, Royals Extra by Sally Bedell Smith, Ms. Bedell Smith said in a post, Queen Camilla has been doing double duty, tending to the king's comfort at home and representing him at engagements around Britain. She monitors her spouse closely and is capable of holding the queue when needed, just like Queen Mary. I am informed that King Charles III is now eating lunch, having skipped lunch for decades in an effort to fit more work into his hectic days. However, some things haven't changed. Charles continues to go on brisk walks whenever he can, despite being diagnosed with cancer. According to body language expert Judy James, Charles seemed delighted and joyful when he went outside on Easter Sunday over the weekend, and Camilla watched on with pride. In agreement with James's evaluations, Bedell Smith stated that Palace Insiders saw his most recent appearance as a significant step towards demonstrating to the public that he is doing well and making progress. She went on, according to Buckingham Palace sources, his decision to do an unexpected five-minute walkabout after the Easter service, shaking hands with people outside the chapel, was a significant step that signaled a very positive outlook. Charles has reduced his public engagements, although he is still carrying out his constitutional obligations, such as reviewing his red boxes and holding meetings with the Prime Minister. I think what they're doing now, what they're trying to do certainly, the Easter break is a very, very valuable thing, a royal insider exclusively told Daily Express US. When Parliament rises and adjourns for its Easter break, all of the attention that is typically focused on the courts, Parliament, politics, and consequently the royal family, will be heavily downplayed, giving them a break. A royal historian claims that although Princess Kate's prophylactic chemotherapy can be physically and psychologically taxing, she has Queen Camilla to lean on for support. Marlene Koenig, a royal blogger and the creator of the blog Royal Musings, was contacted by Daily Express US. She stated that Kate has a strong support network that consists of her parents, two siblings, husband, father-in-law, and mother-in-law. Ms. Koenig notices something in Queen Camilla in particular, and the historian speculates that Queen Camilla is probably extremely empathetic. Camilla is renowned for avoiding attention and prioritizing the needs of others, such as her husband King Charles, whom she is currently taking care of while he receives cancer treatment. She continues, Kate has a lot to focus on and people who are there for her. She has friends and family, who are there for her. The public want her to get better, and get back out there, the historian adds, referencing the fact that Kate has already mentioned how much she enjoys her job as a senior working royal. When talking about the timing, Koenig claims that Kensington Palace has been uprunft and straightforward regarding Kate's medical problems. However, Koenig examines historical accounts to show that this was not always the case with regard to the monarchy, if we go back to the late 1940s, when King George VI, Charles's grandfather, was having medical issues, was in the hospital, had trouble breathing, had surgery, and then died at the age of 52.